I'm currently in London right now. I'm gonna have a few days of a coffee mission. So I'm basically hoping to find the best coffee place in London. So it's really hard for me to try every single one of them, but I'm trying my best to go to the cafe that do specialty coffee. I'm really passionate about my coffee. I'm very picky about it as well. I've been a barista for two years, so I got my certificate for my um, examination for SCA. I feel like I know what makes it a good cup of coffee and what doesn't. So I feel like it will be fair for me to judge based on the most important part of a cup of coffee, which is simply black coffee. I'm trying to order either an espresso, co-brewed or even V60, but I will mainly focus on espresso. Um, I would kind of judge it based on, compare it based on the aroma, the body of an espresso, whether the flavor is balanced or they will have a really sharp and really uncomfortable sense when you drink an espresso. So yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys along to see which cafe in London has the best coffee. <laughs> It's the hottest I've ever been before, and it's like ridiculous temperature. Thank you. Can I have a glass of water? Thank you. Ben and I found a really cute, so like, uh, independent coffee shop nearby at King Cross Station. So I decided to try. So this is called the Frequency Coffee, and I order an espresso as like a testing rating and it's a really good sign that when you see a cafe that they do have their own roasting beans so that means they have their own roaster they are, have really good quality control on their coffees and they're really um, conscious about the coffee that they're providing the best aroma is good the crema looks nice as well so you can tell like the bottom the lighter color is the crema Mm. Definitely more on the acidic sides, but it's very nice, not too sharp. So usually I like to, when I taste an espresso, I like to taste it without swirling it because I want to feel the body and the crema and how it stays lingers in my mouth. For coffee beans that are more like acidity, the body is tend to be lighter, but it has to be careful if the coffee is more acidity. Usually, if it's gonna be really, if it's acidity, it's gonna be a bit too sharp that it will taste really bad. But this one has a really good balance of nutty and uh, fruity taste. Mm. I'm gonna wait a little bit to see how it tastes after it's cooling down. A good coffee when it's cooled down, but espresso shouldn't be too sour at all. Okay, so now the coffee is a bit cooler. We're gonna taste again. Mm. It's definitely more sour, but it's not too much. I like fruity side, and it's definitely have a floral sense in it. Overall, I would give it 7 out of 10 for this espresso. Very good body, very good aroma and flavor as well. And I don't have the chance to taste the filter coffee, but they do provide quite a lot of different beans to choose from. So it's a really good sign. And the espresso is really nice. So I'm pretty sure 
the latte and the milk coffee is going to be good if the base is so good. So it's a good choice, definitely. The second cafe that I went to is called Mon Mouth. It's just a really busy and also quite famous uh, coffee shop in London. It's super crowded that day. I couldn't really take a good look at the beans that they provided, but I did see they do have quite a lot of different blend of beans to choose. A lot of people actually buy coffee beans from them. I order an espresso. Uh, it's very golden color. You can see the crema is actually very beautiful. And it's a relatively our darker roast coffee beans. So it's more like a chocolate, a chocolate and nutty flavor. And it has a bit of acidity in the beans as well. So the coffee is very balanced. The body is very rich and thick as well because of, uh, of the darker roast beans. So in general, I would give it 5.5 out of 10. It's a fair espresso, but it wasn't something that is very impressive. It doesn't have a really complex flavor as well, but it's very smooth, it's a very fair espresso. However, I would say the pastry did a better job than their coffee. I order a canole and that's just so good. It's very soft and chewy and it's really good pastry. So I would recommend it to get a pastry from them or maybe a milk coffee because I would say their dark roasted coffee beans should pair a pretty good with um, their milk coffee as well. So definitely check them out. But I would say it's usually very crowded, so you don't really expect to have a very chill coffee experience in that cafe. cafe that I went is called Kiss the Hipple. It's a famous London cafe as well and they do provide quite a lot of different single origin coffee. They do have hand drip as well. They even provide like an ice hand drip which is quite interesting but this time I only order espresso. I order a single origin espresso. It's very um more like a light rose sabine as well so the crema is really nice. You can see and the flavor is tend to be more fruity and floral. So I can taste a really nice jasmine and berries flavor in it. And in general, it's pretty good as like a really fruity beans. So I'll give it 6.5 out of 10. so good the weather <laughs> it's the other day and yesterday I went to to different cafe and just walk around and watch the spirited away Broadway show it was beyond magical it's so good I think it's one of the best Broadway show or even musical that I've ever watched it literally bring the whole movie on stage and it's just so amazing i loved it so much and while i was watching it it makes me 
realized it was so beautiful how people create art it's truly a magical thing and i'm so grateful that i have the passion and i'm also a person who truly believes the power of art and i study art i create art and i just felt so happy that i'm able to witness people creation and bring it back to life is truly a magical thing because I love the movie a lot and seeing different people trying to bring it into an adaptation about, about like a Broadway show is so remarkable and I loved it a lot Okay, the fourth espresso that I drank is from Caffeine. This cafe do have quite a lot of different branches in London and the coffee is actually good. So they do provide different beans from single origin and also normal coffee beans. So I picked out a single origin espresso. It's the most expensive espresso that I had in London. It's just like four pound for an espresso. But it's actually good so they gave me a little card about the information for the coffee beans that i paid which i always appreciate this a tiny little details that they did for because you pay for it so it's like part of the services that they offer you they even give you a little uh cold jasmine tea for clearing your taste buds after you drink the coffee and the espresso is really nice it's very fruity it gives me a very strong taste of grapefruit and also a little bit of sweetness in it. Overall, the aroma and the body and the tasting note of the coffee beans is so good. I'll give it almost 8 out of 10. Definitely go check it out when you're in London. Go get a coffee from them. It's actually really nice. So the last cafe that I went to in London is called Workshop Coffee. They did provide quite a lot of different single origin beans. So I picked out an espresso as well. The flavor is relatively lighter than the other coffee that I had in the other cafes. The body is a bit lighter, it also tends to be a bit more fruity and acidity in general. It doesn't give out a really sharp taste even though it has a lighter body. So in general, I'll give it 6.5 out of 10. It will be better if it has more sweetness and also more like uh, nutty to balance the fruity tasting note of it in general but it's a fair coffee so i'll give it 6.5 out of 10.